Okay, so this dude got kicked off of Facebook for 24 hours. Uh, he got kicked off of uh, Billy Gibbons tour forever. Um, and which is like, I you know, people are mad at Billy Gibbons. Republicans are mad at Billy Gibbons and ZZ Top for doing this. Uh, <laughs> but I think ZZ Top has a has a track record of being fine with principled conservatives. Such as Hank Hill, King of the Hill, of course, uh, <laughs> appearing on uh, an episode of King of the Hill, most notably. It's just that this, you know, Trump is just such a deviation from the norm of, like, respectable Republicans. Uh, respectable racism. Yeah. It's just yeah. it's just good business. It's like, they see both sides of the, you know, the fence here. Just like how Michael Jordan once said, you know, Republicans buy shoes too. So Michael Jordan doesn't talk about issues and you know billy gibbons is like yeah like liberals like to rock also yeah uh li liberals uh li like women with legs too yes yeah <laughs> like a nice legged woman um so ostensibly this is like facebook overreaching this is like oh my god facebook is just discriminating against a guy who likes trump and chick-fil-a like this is this is harmless you know it's just oh i can't eat this food apparently or else uh facebook uh will will ban me from from the public sphere and oh actually it turns out benton blount made a sponsored post he promoted a post, which is a photo of him in his MAGA hat, uh, holding a styrofoam Chick-fil-A cup. And the caption reads, Someone reading this just got offended multiple times. My work here is done. <laughs> Hashtag vote. So this is not reported in literally any of the articles that I, uh, that I read in doing preparation for this episode. He sponsored a post to trigger the libs yep. on his <laughs> official Facebook page. Sponsor that post yeah. so I know it's real. He paid money to Facebook to trigger the libs and got fucking fired. Lost a gig for it. That's so great. You ever spend money to get fired? His thought process <laughs> probably was like, I'm about to go on tour. Let me uh, go ahead and give me a little clout before I go out here. Sponsor this post. Getting fired to own the libs. I love this I mean, shit. I don't know. That, it's dedicated. I, I admire him, to be quite honest. I like how real this photo is, too, because he could have fronted and, like, you know, stacked, like, four chicken sandwiches in his hand, a bunch of waffle fries, big-ass drink, but there's even, like, a bigger drink right behind him in the picture, and he's holding the smaller drink because, you know, he just, he's keeping it real. Yeah. Honest America. So this is like I this is why he caught a a ban or a timeout from Facebook is cuz he's promoting like obvious political hackery, yeah. you know? And like I don't know how it got past Facebook's initial like screener when you go to promote a post because they're actually pretty strict at what they will allow, but it got past it somehow. And I, you know, I was like I was like why would Facebook ban him for this this corny shit but yeah. it's because it's he sponsored it yeah that's exactly why and he's promoting his his page ben being blunt which I, i'm sure is you know next week you can go on there and see all the his rantings in his you know the cab of his truck very soon i know it and it's like this pun doesn't make sense the name of his page is benton being blunt but his last name is blount so like it's a pun on that, but you don't know his last name already. Well, Blount is just past tense blunt. <laughs> I was blunt with them. So let's get into this. This dude like ran with it. He he. This story was reported uh, in like Mike Huckabee's website and Fox News and like local news affiliates, and so he he gained a bit of notoriety from this, and. Uh, Let's hear from from Alan Lowe, his songwriting partner. And, uh, he said, "Oh, he's he's counted as a top fan on Facebook, <laughs> which just means he like constantly comments on Benton being Blount's posts." Uh, I haven't been this angry, frustrated, disappointed, disgruntled in a long while. This is the new America, 
of the liberal Democrat extremists and their version of, quote, tolerance. My best bro, friend, business, business partner, partner, writing partner, an amazing, per an amazing person and artist, Benton Blount, was just kicked off of the Billy Gibbons tour for a Facebook post of Benton wearing a MAGA hat while eating a Chick-fil-A biscuit. I wish he really was like eating it in the in the sponsored like post. Mid bite, just like open yeah. mouth. He should have. Like you see, he's that would have been more triggering to me. Through the foil. Like I like yeah sure he gave them money, but I don't know if he's actually eating the evil Christian sandwiches. You know, like he could just be throwing them away after he takes a picture. Because like me, like if I was a conservative, I'd go there for the flex. You know, I'd go there to get my <laughs> my uh, my pleasures. Is it, did I say it right? My pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, I would go there for that, but then I'd just toss a sandwich at the window because I still want to subscribe to cruelty to animals. This is the tolerance the left is imposing on those with whom disagree. I love the, like, the, the proper placement of the preposition uh, yes. and then just forgetting an article there. Or forgetting a pronoun. With whom disagree. This is despicable. Certainly un-American. Is the A in un-American capitalized? Mid, mid word? It is now. <laughs> like, you gotta, you gotta respect it that way. Dude, capitalized. That's, I think that's the way to do it. Wrong. Certainly un-American. Wrong. Please share and let others know before this is pulled down. Hashtag tolerance. Hashtag Benton Blount. Hashtag Team Benton. Hashtag MAGA. Hashtag Chick-fil-A. Hashtag liberal hypocrisy. Hashtag Trump Pence. Hashtag my president. I never see the Trump pants. Like that's a full embrace of yeah. like, the whole cabinet. That's pretty, definitely. That's well done. And then um, I just love this. I love this. Like these like cries for tolerance when literally your post was all about triggering liberal tears and shit, and now you're the one crying. <laughs> it's very funny to me. Someone should tell Alan to sponsor that post so everyone sees it. <laughs> do you think i think facebook would allow this this post to be sponsored yeah yeah he's big enough your boy benji all right so we're gonna go to uh the first <laughs> post that i sent you annie the one about uh chilies this is another amazing post from uh, benton blount uh regarding his newfound fame uh with getting fired by billy gibbons benton blount posted uh, on Saturday at 2 p.m. Just got approached by two guys that looked like they came straight out of Hot Topic. They said, quote, Hey, are you the guy wearing the MAGA hat that the news has been talking about? So you can tell from this <laughs> prose that this is something that definitely happened. Yeah, for sure. This is like uh, the thing that, that's happened the most. Like this is the most true thing that we've ever read on the podcast. <laughs> I naturally said yes, instantly, with a smile. Of course it's me. I cleverly replied <laughs> yes. Cleverly, sardonically, and ruthlessly, I replied, yeah. <laughs> yep. Then one kid says, quote, how does it feel to be racist? Oh! Burn! Then one kid poured hot tar all over my body. Uh, two, two young kids with dyed black hair and skinny jeans came crab crawling toward me, going, Bree, Bree, Bree. <laughs> How does it feel to be racist? Ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da. You should be proud. Oh, is that a heaven song? <laughs> uh, that was like a crab core song. For sure. Uh, uh. <laughs> you should be proud. I don't know what that quite means. Uh, I didn't explain to them how stupid that was to say. And I didn't use them as football. It's good that you didn't ex expend any of your spoons, like, uh, explaining to these kids that they were stupid, you know, because that takes, like, a lot of, like, mental effort and emotional uh, ardor to sort yeah. of tell, like, these little skinny twig boys that they were stupid. Mm -hmm. not, not the point of Twig boys. Uh, but I didn't use them as human footballs. But not because I didn't want to. How, like, you didn't, like, cradle them in your arms? 
and like, like hold on to them with everything you got. You didn't uh, spin them so that their laces were facing out. Uh, but not because I didn't want to. At that moment, a Mexican man about twice my size walks up. <laughs> this is a huge. This is a huge person. This is a totally real thing. Uh, a Mexican man about twice my size walks up and says in somewhat broken English, "Hey." You have Trump hat on oh. TV? You vote for Trump? <laughs> yep. I caught I more cautiously reply I I more cautiously respond with I did vote for Trump and I am the guy from TV. His response, quote, "Hey, I knew that was you, essay." <laughs> <laughs> Before calling his wife and daughter over to have their picture made with me. And as soon as that happened, somebody, somebody came over with a, uh, with a anti-camera and began to shoot photos with them and printed the silver prints right there and made a picture with him. Made a picture. No. Um, no, I'm just I'm imagining them at, like, photo makers with, like, you know, cloud backdrops. <laughs> Oh, yeah, totally. I like that. Yeah, no, they, they had the laugh now, cry later background, because uh, he was he was, a, he was a large Mexican. Um, I fucking love this. Like, and yeah, dude knows broken English, be, you can tell, because of the sentence, we made picture with him. Yep. <laughs> I made picture with him. Um, I love that in yeah. his, like, story about a one of the good Mexicans, he still has to say he spoke in broken English. Oh, yeah. Like, no, he was right. not only Mexican, but, like, an authentic one. <laughs> <laughs> like, he hadn't assimilated at all. And he still loved Trump. I'm pretty sure the Hot Topic kids are still standing in Chili's, scratching their heads, and about to decide where to get their next piercings if anyone needs proof of the events I just described. Hey, uh, are you the guys from the Facebook posts? Are you the Hot Topic guys from the Facebook <laughs> posts? I knew it was you. Can I get a picture? I, lo I love the idea that, like, people are like, Hey, you're that, like, stocky white guy with a beard and a MAGA hat that we all know yeah. that, like, was on TV. <laughs> you're, you're, the, you're the one we can tell apart from all the others. Next time you see something wearing, like, a grunt-style, like, MAGA hat, you can be like, Hey man, I really love your your uh, truck cab rants. They're really good, and that person will probably be just flattered. Um, uh, I was getting accosted by uh, two two sad boys, two sad hip hop boys in the Chili's uh, when four grown African American men came around the corner and started singing, "I want my country back, country back, country back. I want my country back, country back." <laughs> Blood, oh my God. blood and soil. <laughs> I want my blood and soil. You'll not replace us. <laughs> um. Yeah. So this is a thing that totally happened. Uh, it's a real thing. You can go to Chili's and ask them there at Chili's, uh, and they'll tell you what happened. And then he goes on to say, Stop letting politicians and the news and every other bitter person in the world tell you that we have this incredible divide in our country. If, I, if it's there, the only reason is because we allow them to put it there. I see that lie fall apart right in front of my face every single day, and that's why I refuse to play the game that so many want me to play. So I love this, like, this argument, A, from a guy who literally sponsored a post to own the libs, yeah. uh, talking about how we can't let them divide us. We can't let the mainstream media divide us. Um, we're all actually Trump voters. All of us are literally Trump voters. Uh, the Mexicans, uh, the blacks, uh, we're all just Trump voters, and it's only the media who is telling you that you didn't actually vote for Trump when yeah. we all actually did vote for Trump. Well, not only that, but like you can't let other people divvy it up. We got we got to divide ourselves. I have to be the one doing yeah. the dividing. <laughs> exactly. You know. 
Because, like, when someone else... I mean, and also, this, like, in this post, it's, like, a total caricature of, like, what he thinks a Mexican person is. Yeah, and he absolutely. completely, like, others them in this post. <laughs> he others them, but they're also, like, his, like, boosters. They're his cheerleaders. Hey, we saw you on yeah, but all only... the TV channels. <laughs> Hey, you're that guy that lost to the to the ventriloquist. We love you. <laughs> and then one of his friends came over with a, a coach's whistle and began to blow it and pouring tequila in my mouth and shaking my head. <laughs> so, yeah. We're not actually divided. All of us actually just love Trump. Yeah. Duh. Let's get to comments on this, on this issue. Um... Clurd Burfle on Fox News. That's not a made-up name. That's not a name that I'm making up to, like, make fun of white people. That's this person's username. Clurd Burfle. Blue Star Boy says, Yeah, Facebook is honest and fair. I've been locked out for months. I can't convince them I am me. I sent them my license and other ID and everything. I believe Hitler is still alive and running it. Yep. Yep. That's that's exactly it. So much going on in this in this comment. My I've been trying to contact my grandchildren for months, but Facebook won't let me because they 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 <laughs> will not accept my photo ID. I like to imagine Claire being pulled over. And the comment I'm just imagining this like man like sending his like ID photo to just, like, some random, like, account or, like, email address that is, like, requesting it. Yeah, this is the new scam. Forget, like, uh, Prince from Africa. Forget forget that. Just call a random number and say that you're from Facebook and you need their ID in order... To, you need their ID and social security number in order to let them keep yeah. posting. I just need the content of your wallet. Just everything in there. I just need it so you can continue <laughs> posting on Facebook. We are going to stop... We're going to stop publication of your Minions memes unless we receive uh, authentic ID from you. Listen, unless you begin paying us monthly installments, you will not have <laughs> access to word art. You will only have regular text, no more word art, no more backgrounds. Yeah. No, seriously, like, if you're, um, say you have money, say you have capital, but you're like, one of the good ones you're a class trader against your own class start a shell corporation uh that exists solely to monitor the authenticity of people's facebook profiles like they have these things for for trademark patents oh, so man. uh there's like if you if you have any sort of trademark uh they just send you mail all the time saying that they will protect your trademark but they make it look like a bill they make it look like you have to pay in order to keep your trademark valid and active just do that for every single boomer facebook profile millions of dollars <laughs> instantly it's just for for a short <laughs> fee you can link people to their facebook profile by searching for them in, the, in, in your website <laughs> Facebook verifies and takes you straight to them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then honestly, I feel like it wouldn't have to be that elaborate. You could just send them an email saying that their monthly Facebook bill was due, and they would just pay it. Totally. I'll tell you how that goes next week. I believe Hitler okay, is you. still alive and running Facebook. Maybe stop calling them Hitler and Nazis. Maybe that's why you're banned from Facebook. No, they really mean that Hitler is alive and is living inside the exoskeleton that is Mark Zuckerberg. No, I mean, maybe they really mean that, but yeah. maybe stop saying it if you want Facebook to reactivate your account, you know? True, true. It's not helping. <clears throat> so on Fox Carolina, which covered this story, this is like Carolina's Fox affiliate, uh, Kimberly Claiborne. Okay, so let me, let me, there was another post that led me to Blenton Blount's Facebook page that went like viral separately, which is where he got, um... I don't know, chastised at a, at a polling place because he was wearing his MAGA hat, which is a thing that is uh, not allowed if you're a Republican. Like, if you're white, you're not allowed to wear uh, political statements into the polling place. But if you were to wear something like, um, like I love Antifa and communism and uh, Hillary Clinton, 
Like, they allow that, but they don't allow Trump hats in polling places. Well, I mean, I was lucky that I, I was really surprised that they let me wear um, my skin while I voted. Because <laughs> it doesn't get more political than that. Yeah, the, the personal is pretty political, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, maybe we report them or something? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. not cool. Like, I'm glad you got to vote, but still, you know, rules are rules. Uh, they came in and they just kind of let everyone know that they were black. Uh, how do they do that, ma'am? Uh, how do they do that? Well, you, <laughs> they weren't wearing a ba- They weren't obvious. wearing a balaclava. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty obvious. Um, so, yeah, this post went viral and people were like, hey, uh, like, we know you are aware of the fact that everybody fucking hates you and hates Trump. And so you just assume that the reason you can't wear a Trump hat in here is because you are universally despised. But no, it's like an actual rule. rule. It's a law. Like, you're not allowed to wear political uh, clothing or merchandise inside of a polling place. It's called electioneering. Uh, It's been illegal for several decades. But Kimberly Claiborne (laughs) replied... Young people can walk around with their pants pulled halfway down to their crotch, but he can't wear a cap? SMH. <laughs> SMH. We live in a society, folks. Yep. <laughs> well, there is that trend amongst, you know, the, the Snapchat generation of uh, them sagging and showing off their I'm with her me undies. <laughs> They're, they're me too undies? They're, they're me too undies. Is that bad? Should I not have made that joke? Uh, no, no, no. It probably exists. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say no on that joke. <laughs> okay. Winner. Um. Yeah, no. People like remember how you you can't wear a Trump hat or else you'll get like beat up by like thugs. Um. Well, young people sag their pants to show support of like Hillary Clinton. Um. They. <laughs> What was I going to say here? They also wear, like, uh, they, they're they afraid to wear, like, Hillary Clinton shirts, so they or Democrat shirts, so they just carry, like, a blue bandana in their back pocket to uh, show they're part of, like, the Democrats, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, final comment from this ZZ Top, Billy Gibbons, Blenton Blount debacle. Ed Cropley says on Fox News... I already tried selling my ZZ Top stuff at a garage sale. No buyers. It all wound up in the trash afterwards. So, like, sure, it's anecdotal, but I think this still provides, like, a good snapshot of how people feel about used ZZ Top CDs. Now, actually, Ed was talking about um, his homemade ZZ Top replica beard he was oh. trying to sell. I would, I would buy that. Well, you should have gotten his garage sale. Well, now I could just get it out of the trash. True, true, true. I don't have to buy anything. So there was one uh, ZZ Top comment that I didn't include in the slideshow, (laughs) but uh, it was a woman, like, expressing, you know, dissatisfaction with uh, Billy Gibbons' decision to kick Mutton Blount off his tour, and her recourse was to uh, decide not to have ZZ Top's LaGrange play at her funeral. (laughs) Which I think is good, because as you get older, like, your social capital kind of diminishes, your spending capital diminishes, because, of course, like, you're surviving on Social Security, you don't have a lot of, like, money to throw around, and so, yeah, one of the only things you can do is decide, like, who to include at your funeral. Or who to to put in your will. And, um, you know, like, Cut out, cut out your dirty grandchildren who still listen to G- ZZ Top, you know. It's well, one of the few things you can do. What you're not realizing is that her um, funeral is actually going to be aired on television. So there's going to be royalties. They have to pay royalties. And, okay, yeah. And they really are screwing them. Missing out. Yeah. Voting with your dollar. <laughs>